A bold move in Prince George's County. Officials want to raise property taxes for the first time in 30 years. Tom Rousey digs in to find out why the county says it simply has no choice. There's no more wiggle room. Prince George's County Executive Rashern Baker says after cutbacks in recent years, it's now time to raise property tax rates for the first time in 35 years. By state law, the county can only hike taxes for schools, and that's what he's proposing. He says he often hears from parents concerned about moving to Prince George's. The first question that comes up is, what's the school in my area? Am I in this particular school? Well, with this investment, they won't have to ask those questions because they don't ask that when they go to Arlington or when they go to Montgomery County. Baker's proposal would hike the property taxes of a $200,000 home by 300 bucks, and a $500,000 home would go up 750. There would be help offered for low-income residents. Baker also wants to cut some county positions and furlough all county employees five days. But it's his tax hike proposal. It's a little bit ridiculous. Drawing the most attention. I think they already had enough. When they went into the deal to open up the casinos and so forth, that was supposed to help with the schools and money from that came to the state and so forth. What is going on? These documents describe what it is exactly Baker is proposing. He does not have the final say, however. The Prince George's County Council will have to vote on his plans within the next few months. Reporting in Upper Marlboro, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Property tax hikes are also on the table in Virginia. Yesterday, Manassas proposed a tax, to, uh, inc uh, tax increase to cover declining sales tax revenue. And earlier this week, Loudoun County officials proposed a tax hike to help fund schools.